Hey guys, I need you to send prayers for the family dog. Our dog Pepper, the most amazing dog we've ever had, has come up sick and they think it's cancer. And just to start this video off, I need as many of you guys to say a quick prayer that we get a miracle of some sort. Just wanted to put this at the beginning. I thank you all for your prayers, it means a lot. Let's get into the video. Now if you've been following with the channel for a long time and have been a long term subscriber, you know that Ethereum Classic as well as XRP tracks alongside AMC. And we were hoping that this point of interest would turn out bullish now ethereum classic is up about seven percent on the day which is extremely exciting i'm not excited about a six seven percent day i'm excited about the point of interest potentially starting off bullish because that is really going to be the deciding factor over to amc and yes some stocks some cryptos trade similarly but no these trade exact they trade in tandem which means amc could follow on top of that we covered short sellers losing 178 billion dollars so far but overall this is a good thing to see there's also rumors going around that BlackRock is leaking things about XRP being used for cross-border payments. I would take this with the tiniest, tiniest grain of salt because people like to pump things about XRP and it's probably not true. But since we are on the topic of BlackRock, right before we touch on AMC's chart as well as GameStop, because somebody actually just went extremely bullish on GameStop and we're going to talk about it, but ex-BlackRock manager is now going to be an investment head of a brand new hedge fund. AMC is trading at $6.11, up 0.6% on the day. We hit a brand new low on the stock of about $5.95, hitting this first level of support. And if we break lower, looking at $5.25 and then that $4 level for AMC, but as of right now, it is holding this one, if not last, lines of support here. If you watched the video yesterday, you know that we could very well be on the flash down before the squeeze higher, especially with what's happening with the overall market as well as crypto as well as hedge funds burning now a quick touch on the short interest 9.12 percent on amc so it is rising a little bit and you can see down here that these short exempts have been going crazy back to back 324,000 and then 386 thousand so that wasn't a natural sell-off that we've been seeing of course nothing was since 77 dollars they have been illegally dropping the price now 3.9 million shares available to borrow on it for the rest of the week and we are losing badly on the options chain, 9,000 calls compared to 25,000 puts expiring in the money, and then all this premium going to market makers. However, this is the one time I would say it's not a terrible idea to jump into calls, in my opinion, not financial advice, I am not a financial advisor, for at least three, four months out, right? Just because of the scenario AMC is in. This would also be a very, very small position, if so, and I'm debating on taking it. Now, this is huge because the recent 13F for JP Morgan has shown that they entered a call position on GameStop the first time since Q3 of 2021. Do you guys think this is of any sort of significance? Touching on GameStop's chart, as of right now, it's looking beautiful. It's been stair-stepping higher, gapped up, scaled down, gapped up, scaled down, and we are looking for that next leg up higher, but we need to see volume increase when we do move higher. We still have to break through that zone at $18.60 to $19. That supply zone, we dipped our toes in previously on the 19th. Once we get above that, we need to see what GameStop is going to do. But correlated to back when we ran in January of 2021, as well as AMC, because that's what we've been tracking, we have a little bit more stair-stepping to do, before we break out even higher. It could be a January reunion slash February reunion as to what happened back in 2021, but let's not speak too soon. Now GameStop has 200,000 shares available to borrow, 8,000 calls compared to 3,000 puts expiring in the money, and more people betting bullish on this week as well. Don't be surprised if they dump the price off on Friday just to collect some premium and have GameStop lose the options chain. Short exempt volume, still kinda high for GameStop, but it definitely is lower from the 18th as well as the 14th. And moving on to the S&P 500, real quick, US November durable goods orders rise 5.4%, estimated at 1.7 and previously negative 5 Point one, which is the biggest monthly gain since December of 2022. Core PCE price index rose 3.2% year over year, estimated at 3.3 and previously 3.4, which is the lowest since April of 2021, which means rate cuts may be imminent. But before we touch on rate cuts, finally, US November new home sales plunged 12.12% month over month to 590,000, estimated at 696 and previously 672, which is the lowest in July of 2022. Is the Fed pivot in under Understatement. Markets are now pricing in an 86% chance that rate cuts will begin in March of 2024. The base case now shows seven interest rate cuts in 2024. Three weeks ago, the Fed said that the markets were premature and calling for rate cuts. But last week, the Fed said that 
they see three rate cuts in 2024. Markets are pricing in more than double the amount of rate cuts that the Fed is guiding, which is absolutely incredible. Keep in mind, the market is still in high, high greed. It just came out of extreme greed, back to greed. After that slight sell-off, after that slight cool-off, if the Fed doesn't cut in Q1, which they may, or they may pause again, then it could be bearish for the market. You could see a dump, you could see a sell-off, but expectations look like coming into the Santa Claus rally, coming into early January, we're gonna break the all-time high of 480, and then if the Fed ends up pausing, you're gonna see it flash down and base around that top. Okay, I think what the SPY is creating here between 465 and 480 is going to be the base for the SPY when it does end up retracing. So I think the SPY is going to climb early next year, potentially hitting 500 or 5,000 on the S&P and then retracing back down to base off of that 480 level to 465. This is just a potential scenario. As of right now, volume is fading again. SPY is trying to consolidate to rip higher. We're watching 477.50 and then 480 on the overall market. Now I wanted to know, I re-entered Tesla calls. I do still hold my shares in my long-term portfolio, but taking a look at the weekly, we have been tracking this cycle back here, the sell-off, the sell-off, and then the spy climbing. This is the weekly time frame, and we were expecting a slight bit more of a retrace on Tesla, but we didn't get it, okay? And I don't feel like missing the train and potentially trying to time that bottom. So I did re-enter my calls. The IV was around 48%, so I paid a little bit for that premium. Nothing crazy expensive, but if you want to know the strike as well as the date that I grabbed and what I will be writing them out to. Make sure to get in the Discord, guys. We're gonna talk a little bit about that after, but another sprinkle on top for Tesla. Tesla scorches short sellers with 16.6 .6 billion burn in 2023, which is absolutely amazing. Short sellers should not be shorting Tesla. Matter of fact, they shouldn't be shorting anything, losing $178 billion in one single year, and the market continues to rip, so these numbers are just going to remain higher and higher, squeezing them out of several short positions, and Tesla being one of them, right? Now, I wanna put some stocks on your radar, guys, but real quick, it helps me out. Join the Discord, the link is right under the video. I'm in there on the daily, come talk stocks with me as well as the most amazing people who talk stocks and crypto all day long. We post gains, post losses, have options trading alerts in there. You get my positions as soon as I take them and yeah, it's well worth it. Also guys, if you want up to 15 free stocks, each valued up to two grand per stock, 5.1% APY on your uninvested cash. Use my link in the top of the description. Sign up for Moomoo. It takes two minutes and make a deposit just like you would Weeble or Robinhood or any other broker. Moomoo is a great platform and you're getting a ton of other benefits once you sign up and make a deposit. Finally, once you're watching this, this video probably after I will be making a trade in the trading challenge so if you're not following me on frenetically it's the third link under the video sign up follow me type my name in on the social and you're gonna get my trades as soon as I take them so you can press copy back to the video a stock in my long-term portfolio that you have to watch right now we recently talked about it is ticker symbol ABBV ABV paying you a 4% dividend yield breaking above this FIV level at 153 and testing the macro trend line. If we break above this, AbbVie is going to have some serious, serious moves higher. I'd watch 158.25 if it breaks out with volume and then all the way up to 165 on AbbVie. Finally, Mara taking the lead, 27.48. I see Mara coming up to $27.80 at minimum to 28.50 as the next level of supply. The Mara has a slight bit more room to run in my opinion already up 11 percent on the day that is the level i'm watching there are a couple previous gaps in the chart one back here one back here and this is a crucial level if mara does break above this and out of this trading range then mara can have a brand new trading range coming for 2024 which is extremely bullish for mara as well as riot the other mining company and then crypto right nothing happening much with crypto so I'm not going to touch on the chart, but BlackRock, Fidelity, Grayscale, ARK, and Valkyrie all met with the SEC about their spot Bitcoin ETFs yesterday, which means the momentum is tilting to an inevitable scenario of approval. And the only question is what happens when Bitcoin enters price discovery mode? Finally, Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission is also prepared to accept spot Bitcoin and crypto ETF applications. All extremely bullish for crypto. Finally, the last touch on top of the video, Nancy Pelosi and her husband purchased up to 5 million of Nvidia call options with a strike price of $120 and expiration date of December 20th, 2024. They purchase leveraged bets over a company they legislate. Should this even be legal? Overall guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. 
Again, send your prayers. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching all the way till the end. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Join the Discord. I love you all. Lottery Socks out.